Hi and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make spaghetti bolognese. I hope you're going to enjoy it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring that little notification bell. Thank you. For this bolognese recipe you're going to need pancetta, minced beef, carrots, onions, celery and garlic, some basil, tomato puree, some full fat milk and some red wine. Like with every recipe you've got to start with chopping the vegetables. I'm going to do it in one of these because you need to have the vegetables quite small because you want everything to stick to your pasta when you're eating it. I'm going to start off with the carrots. I think there's enough space in there to get the celery as well. Now I'm going to blitz it. Now I'm going to do the onions. Just chuck the garlic in with the onions. And then I'm going to blitz it again. I think I can get the lid on. <laughs> there we go. Just going to put everything in this bowl ready to start cooking the meat sauce. Like with every mince dish that I do, I'm going to start off by frying the mince in the pan dry. I'm actually making a large amount of this bolognese sauce because I'm only going to use half of it for our spaghetti bolognese. The other half I'm going to save and I'm going to make a lasagna. And I'm going to show you how to make that in another episode. But it's a good way of making something go further. And also lasagna is lovely, but if you're starting from scratch, it's a bit of a fiddle. So this actually is, makes you feel as if you've cheated a little bit. There we go, let's break it all up. While that's still browning off, I'm just going to add some pancetta and this adds a really lovely salty taste to your sauce. The meat is nearly browned now. Now that's browned, I'm just going to pour in all these vegetables. By blitzing the vegetables down like this, it's a really, really good way of getting vegetables into any family members who are awkward and refuse to eat vegetables. And there are a lot of awkward people about who don't eat what they're supposed to. Yes, he's sitting behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> The next thing I'm going to add is something you're probably going to think is quite weird but this recipe is actually from the Bologna region of Italy and in Bologna they're actually famous for their dairy products and they add milk to their bolognese sauce. The milk actually adheres itself to the proteins in the meat which stops the wine attacking the proteins when you're cooking it so it's actually good for the cooking process. It might seem weird but it doesn't affect the taste and actually it makes it lovely and creamy. And you just stir this round until the meat is covered in the milk. sort of at, attaches itself to the meat and it makes it look slightly creamy colour. It does alter the texture of the meat. Now the next thing I'm going to add is the red wine. Now you can either use red wine or white wine. It's up to you. I've got red wine. Sometimes if I've got a bottle of white wine open I use that. 
and the tomato puree. I'm not adding a tin of tomatoes because that actually adds a lot of liquid to the bolognese sauce and this gives it a rich tomato flavour without too much excessive liquid. I'm just going to add some herbs. Now I'm going to add some salt. And lastly, loads of pepper. Mix everything in. This is now simmering. I'm going to turn the heat down. I'm going to put the lid on and I'm going to cook it on a low heat for an hour. This has now been cooking for an hour. Let's check to see what it looks like. Oh wow, that smells absolutely gorgeous. And now I've got to leave it to cook for another half hour with the lid off and that will reduce it down a little bit so that it just sticks perfectly to your pasta. So we're now going to leave it for another half an hour and then it'll be ready to eat. The sauce has finished cooking. It's had its final half an hour and it's really gorgeous and it's thickened up and it changes colour in the time that you're cooking it. I'm just going to add a few big spoonfuls to my pasta. Now I don't like a lot of the sauce with my pasta. I don't like it dolloped on top. I like to mix my sauce through my pasta so you get little bits of meat stuck to the spaghetti. And because we've got lots of people coming round for dinner tonight, I'm gonna to have to add another tablespoonful. Now the rest of the sauce that I've got in the pan, I'm going to save and I'm going to freeze it and I'm going to use it to make a lasagna next week when we film. There we go, that's my version of spaghetti bolognese. I've added a little bit of parmesan to the top. Let's just try it. I don't like loads of meaty sauce on it, but this is just perfect. Mm. Mm. That's really nice. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click the notification button. Hope you enjoy this spaghetti bolognese. See you next time. Bye bye.